Wake Forest Demon Deeks with a tough test to open their 2011-12 campaign Friday night, facing a Loyola of Maryland team for the first time since 1949, and they were balling. Freshman Daniel Green with the dunk in transition, getting the job done. Wake up seven at that point. Second half now, sophomore Travis Mackay, second among freshmen in scoring last year. Turns out he's pretty good this year. He had 19 points in the ball game. C.J. Harris stroking it as well. And on the defensive end, how about Carson DeRozier's? Blocking everything. Eight blocks on the night to go with eight points and 10 rebounds. Harris, though, stole the show on the offensive end. He had 20 points as the Demon Deeks opened the season with a win dominating in the second half. Let the Brian Gregory era begin. The Yellow Jackets new head man courtside with his team for the first time Friday night as they open the year against Florida A&M Tech without Glenn Rice Jr. though suspended three games for an unspecified violation of team rules. That's okay. Jason Morris, one of them, he gets the dunk. Then it's Mufan Udofia filling it from outside. He knocks it down. Udofia can also play on the defensive end, turns out. Gets the steal and gets it up ahead to Brandon Reed. Reed with the stroke he scored 16 points in his yellow jacket debut tech plus 27 on the boards in this one that also would help as brian gregory gets the win all right let's take a look at the other action across the acc smooth sailing for the top ranked tar heels aboard the uss carl vinton as they open up with a win over michigan state harrison barnes 17 points but john henson stole the show 12 points career high nine blocks for him NC State in the win column as well, despite missing C.J. Leslie for the first three games due to receiving impermissible benefits. C.J. Williams picked up the slack. He had 18 points. Clemson, Florida State, and Miami also winners Friday night. The Hurricanes coming from 15 down to give new head man Jim Laranega his first win, while the six-ranked Blue Devils survive a close win against Belmont for Coach K's 901st win.